we have moved forward to reach an understanding on how we shall implement chapter two of the agreement. And the people of South Sudan are yearning for peace. Peace is about security. And today we have made a milestone in that and we have agreed and we have signed an understanding that it shall be moved forward. Most important is not only the signing, but the implementation of these articles. We must implement what we say. The people of South Sudan expect us to do that. But also most important, I must recognize the importance of the Republic of Sudan, led by His Excellency, the Deputy Chair, the Deputy President for the Supreme Council of the Republic of Sudan, MIT, who is present with us, who facilitated this meeting, which is very, very critical to us. And today, we in South Sudan must recognize this importance. But most important is, we all must recognize peace. The guns must go down. The silence of the guns is most important to peace. We cannot continue to fight when we are talking peace in Juba. So as much as we talk about peace, the guns must go down from today. As much as there was hiccups, and I want to call on my colleagues on the other side that it's important we silence the guns so that South Sudan can, proper, can prosper. I also want to thank my colleagues from SOA who contributed seriously in this discussion so that we can move forward and make uh, a durable peace in our country. Not everything is perfect, but we want to say that we want to move the country forward. We, despite the challenges, despite the fact that not everything has been done, but what is important is let's move the country forward. But most important is let there be peace. Let there be no fighting. Let there be no attacks. Let there be confrontations in this aspect so that our people can relax, our people can return back to their homes, our people can have peace in their hearts. Our country needs all of us, and our country wants peace, and that's what we want to do. Thank you. Well, I